Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. So today we found out that Ubisoft is going to require a verification of a phone number with your Rainbow Six Siege account so that you can play ranked. So let's actually hit on what was announced today. So first of all, they let us know there's a new patch coming out and that is the balancing patch for Rainbow Six Siege. And that's the one where Aruni gets a muzzle break on her gun and Ella and Zulfia's concussion mines are nerfed along with a nerf to the F012 shotgun for Ella as well. But alongside the news that they were launching that patch, they dropped some massive news and that is verification to access ranked. So this is coming next season, so it's not coming yet. And next season will get revealed next month and then it'll probably launch in early March. So you're going to have a little bit of time to get ready for this change before it actually happens. But what you're going to need in the future for Siege to play ranked is to verify your account with a phone number before you can access ranked. This is to keep cheaters out of ranked. So of course when they get banned, they'll have to go off and get another account, get in again and start cheating. But they'll need to also link it up to a phone number again. It'll just make it that a little bit harder to do. It's not going to solve the cheating problem but it should reduce the numbers of cheaters in ranked. However, it will not help casual or unranked. In fact, there might be more cheaters because that's where they'll end up going. But anyway, it is to deter cheaters in ranked and it may or may not work and it may have some sort of an effect. Of course, there is different ways around this kind of system. So we'll see how it plays out. There might also be a lot of you out there thinking, wait a minute, I'm getting deja vu on this because this already happened, didn't it? And it did. This happened in the past. This happened a long time ago when they added two-factor authentication requirements for Rant in Rainbow Six Siege, which required a phone number. But I think it was less than a month later, Ubisoft on the Ubisoft account side of things announced that you could do two-factor with an email. So the whole phone number thing was out the door at that point. You could just do it with any old email. So this change has already happened. There's no indication here of anything significant is changing with how they're going to implement it. So first of all, you don't need two-factor authentication on console ranked, but will you need a phone number linked to your account on console now for ranked? Like, are they going to try and go after mouse and keyboard cheers or stuff like that? And of course, this phone number connection is definitely good. I think it's a, you know it's better than nothing. But obviously, you can get new phone numbers extraordinarily cheap, which means that cheaters who want to cheat and ranked can easily get back in without too much of a hurdle. But you're going to have a certain amount of cheaters that won't put that extra effort in and might just not bother. So, you know, hopefully they'll be out at least. But I do want to jump over to theory time here because there's another reason this might be happening. And I think there's a good chance that it might happen indeed. And that is that Rainbow Six Siege goes free to play next season. This is my guess on basically why they're doing this. I think obviously it is going to combat the cheaters a little bit. But I think the reason they're doing this is because they're going to go free to play. Their you know, play numbers are down. And I think the smartest move for them right now is probably to take this game free to play. And I could totally see that with this change because it seems like a perfect kind of synergy. And that's a pure theory on my part. I don't know if it's going to happen. It might not. But that's my guess right now. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this change in the comments below. And I'll catch you next time.